Well, Art Party is the Anton Art Center's major annual fundraising event. Each year in September, usually the third Thursday, we put up a big tent in the parking lot outside the building. We bring in dozens of restaurants, uh, we bring in artists to demonstrate and host art activities for our participants to participate in. Uh, we also have a silent auction, a big raffle as part of the event, and we really use that as an opportunity to share in the good work that we do every day here with our community. Uh, it's a great opportunity for folks to, to see and be seen amongst those that they, they live around or that, that live here, um, but also some of the folks that you might not see on a regular occasion like elected officials. Uh, it's, a great, uh, it's a great event. It's, a, it's an excellent time for people to come out, um, celebrate the arts, and really just have a good time. Art Party is important because it, it enables us an opportunity to bring folks together around the cause of supporting the arts and helps to ensure that we have the financial means that will be necessary in the upcoming year to mount many of the programs that we offer all of the time. Whether those programs are exhibits or educational programming or make and take art activities at a local fair or festival, all of these things cost money and the Art Party fundraiser is a really key way that we're able to continue ensuring that we meet our mission to enrich and inspire people of all ages through the arts. It may not seem this way, but art doesn't have all of the rules associated with it that an art school might have you believe. And the creative expression that can be enabled by giving kids the gift of art or art supplies or an ability to, to just mess around with something and see what comes of it um, is really important. It's, it's a way of communication. Um, it's also a way of learning how to problem solve and understand different solutions to the same problem or experiment uh, in ways that maybe you can't do uh, in other areas. Um, the arts are very approachable very accessible in terms of being able to explore and try new things and try different things than maybe you would have otherwise. Um, it's far easier to explore a solution to a creative problem through art than it might be sometimes for people like me as an example to solve a math problem using numbers. So there are different ways that people can benefit. Um, you know, I like to talk a lot about how often how um, the arts can support mental health, the arts can support educational outcomes, the arts can support um, physical well-being and, and fine motor skills, um, the arts can support economic development and community building. These are all things that we work to achieve through the programs that we operate here at the Anton Art Center and around different communities in Macomb County. I think that I've probably got many stories, but one of my favorites, <clears throat> a longtime student and volunteer of ours, um, has cancer. She's been going through cancer treatments at this point on and off for a number of years. And um, she'd actually started uh, uh, an initiative within our clay program to create these little clay smiley faces, only maybe this big, they're not very large, um, that the students in class would decorate. And then she would take those with her to chemotherapy treatments and leave them for the people who were there getting treatment to just hold on to and have something that was made that was made by somebody else with the express intent of being a comforting thing for the person going through that treatment while they're there sitting in that chair. Um, and the, the stories that I hear back from the volunteer who had started that initiative were just really, um, you know, we, we've used the word impact a lot in this interview, but that's really, there's no better way to explain it. Um, the, the feelings that people have when receiving something that was handmade, that was intended to comfort them like that is really powerful. Um, the ability of art to provide that feeling. Um, for the volunteer who herself is going through those treatments, the ability to make those things and share them with others who are going through a similar experience to what she is, um, again, is very, very powerful. Um, and so we find that the arts it can affect people in these ways that you don't necessarily see. A lot of people, when they think about art, broadly speaking, is that it's kind of an art for art's sake thing. They, you know, this artist made something because it's pretty. Um, they don't stop necessarily to, to think, or they may not realize and understand that the artist may have made it because they're going through something and they need to get this out, they need to express this in a way that they can't in, in words or through song or through whatever, so they chose them, you know, to paint or to create a mosaic or to create a ceramic piece um, and so on. And, I, I, you know, there's these 
just these little ways. Um, and everybody's, every person is different. Every artist is different. The way that art speaks to people is always a little different. Um, but it's always meaningful. And I, it, it can be easy to look at something that is pretty and dismiss it very quickly, or to look at something that you think is not pretty at all and still to dismiss it very quickly. But there's often a lot more to what went into creating that and the reasons why an artist may have created it um, that are, are not often part of that conversation. Um, but again, that is also something that we're trying to work at, at sharing with people. You know, there's always more to the story than just what you're seeing in front of you hanging on a wall or sitting on a pedestal. Uh, and that's why the arts really are so important to everyday life. And the Anton Art Center occupies this space in the arts sector um, that's really more of a, a broad ranging arts agency than a single nonprofit gallery space. The work that we're doing is really intended to, um, to reach our whole community, to serve our community through the arts, to provide arts and creative opportunities countywide. Uh, and and it's, it's really, as one of the only arts nonprofits that exist in Macomb County, it's become really important that we're able to stand up um, as this arts institution in Mount Clemens and say, the arts are important, the arts have X, Y, Z benefit. We can help you in your community to propagate these benefits um, by working with you to prop up the arts, whether it's a public art program, whether it's offering um, art, art programming in partnership with other organizations in a particular city or town, um, doing public art programs and things along those lines. You know, the arts, the arts have such a great opportunity or a, a great ability to impact people daily, every day, in every day life. And I think that a lot of people, the more that we can reinforce that, the more that we can point to specific examples of how this mural helps this business do better, or this public art program at this school helped these students perform better on this standardized test, or this cancer patient who made these little ceramic smiley faces help to impact all of these others who are getting chemo treatment. You know, that's why, that's why the Anton Art Center is important. That's why the arts are important. And that's why uh, we do the art party every year.